Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be talking about a great thing. Microsoft is focusing on user security. They've made Windows completely secure. I don't know how they've done this, but what they've actually done, and I think it's amazing, they, they've removed, okay, they've, they've bypassed, they've removed bypass NRO. So Windows is now totally secure, there will be no hacking, uh, and hackers will not be able to do anything. Uh, this is a great update. No, what, what I, I don't even... Like, sometimes you see a stupid change, and you see a justification, and it just doesn't make any sense. So first of all, let's explain what this was all about. So if you've installed Windows in the last few years, you know that they will absolutely desperately try to get you to use a Microsoft account. It's gradually gotten more and more uh, forceful. There is still a way, if you have a professional version of Windows, to go through and say domain join instead, and then it will let you create a, a local account temporarily use and then you can just never join a domain if you have home edition it's now become a lot more difficult i will later in the video show you how you can get around this but this seems like such a user hostile decision and i don't really get it like some people might say okay it's so they can collect your data sure but like it just doesn't it's so user hostile and i don't i don't see any benefit to microsoft and nobody nobody thinks this is a good idea so this was a popular method where you could just run this script you also, a few editions before, you were able to put no at thankyou.com and a couple of other deny listed email addresses into setup with your Microsoft account, and that would also let you bypass it. Another method you could use that I've even seen some YouTubers suggest is just unplug the Ethernet cable or don't join Wi-Fi. Nope, that doesn't work. And that's kind of the problem. If you don't have internet, like as these guys said, or you don't currently have internet, you now cannot officially install Windows. Oops, you've lost internet, let's try again. Now I understand, basically everyone buying a computer has internet, but I don't see why that should be necessary. Now, if you do this, and you run bypass in a row, then you are able to skip it, except you can't do that anymore. They say this is to improve the security and user experience of Windows. Now, of course, if you already set up your computer, you'll be fine. And I should point out that you are still able to create local accounts in Windows. You're just not able to install with that. But I, I don't understand the push. There's obviously, I, you don't need me to tell you that there is absolutely no security benefit to signing in with a Microsoft account. And in fact, one could argue there is actually a security detriment, and I'll explain why. So, having files on your local computer eliminates an entire attack vector because it's just on your computer they have to hack your computer to get it there, there's no method remotely where they can suddenly get your files if you back it up to OneDrive, which is what i think they're claiming is a security benefit yes you do have less risk of data loss but now you've got a whole nother attack vector because if someone can hack your microsoft account they now have a direct entry to your files and unfortunately as uh, many people will tell you people have a terrible habit of doing something like this they will go to their documents and will be like all right uh, we're going to put uh we're going to put a file passwords.txt in fact stealers even look for this because it's so prevalent and some people will take this oh oh i think i actually do have... okay that's embarrassing i should i i should actually say that this is a really small and uh secure thing you should do i, I don't actually know what's in that one and i'm not going to show it on camera but they'll do this they, and then they'll start putting all their stuff in here and who knows maybe they'll even add a credit card to .txt. don't do any of this but i think everyone has done it at least once so i would actually argue there's a potential security flaw now people have already found new workarounds and we can see uh, one method from the bob pony uh, you can add a registry key okay and I, I think that may have even been how the script worked but that that's more convoluted and then you can restart and you can get around it that way if you have windows pro you can simply choose the domain join instead this has been a controversy for a while and it's just so blatantly user hostile which kind of summarizes everything people have been saying about Microsoft. See, here you even have Elon Musk saying, Satya, I don't mean to be a pest, but please allow people setting up a new Windows PC to skip creating a Microsoft account. The option disappears if the computer is connected to Wi-Fi. Actually, now it disappears in general. Also, even if you do want to sign up, it won't allow you to use a work email address, and I only have work email address. I guess he doesn't have a Gmail or something. He could make one. I think you actually can, but maybe I'm wrong. I just don't, I don't get it. There, there's no, there's no good incentive here. Everyone pretty much is upset. Some people don't care, but nobody thinks this is a good move. And it's kind of interesting looking over here. 
So we're definitely not. Let's be real. We're not in the year of the Linux desktop. But if you zoom in, uh, you can see that maybe we are in the year of there being of the Linux desktop not being a terribly uncommon thing. I'm going to take, I'm going to take uh, something. Well, actually, Chrome OS is Linux, so we'll leave that. We'll take the others off. And collectively, Chrome OS and uh, Linux can be as much as 4 or 5% in the US and quite a bit more in other areas. Like if we go down to India, and a few other emerging market, sort of an interest, and I'm assuming these unknowns are being miscounted, there's sort of an interesting trend with Linux becoming quite a major force. Mac OS isn't really popular in a lot of emerging markets because uh, Macs are very expensive, and Linux is sort of filling that niche. Is Linux more user-friendly than Windows? Definitely not, at least not yet. But Microsoft is just full steam ahead, shooting themselves in the foot every chance they get, and people, people are getting tired of it. Now, what can we do if you don't if you want to install Windows and you don't uh, want to do this? Well, first of all, today and for probably because this is in the Dev Channel, the next year or so, you don't have to do anything. There's no there's no trouble. But in the future, so you can use the reg edit method that I showed you, or you can do what I'm going to recommend, and that is to use this tool, which I think is what you should be using in general uh, if you're creating a bootable installer for Windows. This is called Rufus. I'll download it. And this is uh, just a better. CrowdStrike is now buying Google Ads. I don't know how their business is going. Uh, and it's just a better uh, USB creator. And then what we'll also do is we'll get the Windows 11 ISO from Microsoft, not from anybody else. Do not use custom ISOs. Even if they get rid of this, just don't. Terrible idea. So we'll just go straight here. And we can directly get it. Now, make sure you want x64, not ohm 64 uh, you can also get the installation media tool, but that's not going to create the flash drive the way we want it to. And then we'll validate our request, and then we can choose our language, and then you get a temporary link. We'll give this some time. I'm just waiting for the ISO to finish downloading. There is one other thing I'll point out, and that is that if instead uh, you can get, because people talk about debloating, I don't recommend it, but one thing you can do to get fewer pre-installed apps, is on the ISO download page, instead of choosing the American English version, if you choose the international English version, it will assume you're in Europe and it won't give you as many pre-installed things. So that's one method you can use to get uh, fewer pre-installed apps. I might make, and you can let me know in the comments below if you want this, a full Windows installation guide where I'll go over all the things you can do, uh, things I recommend, things I don't recommend. I will go over a bit of debloating just so people understand if, if they want to do it, uh, they can do it. We're Right about done, yep. So now we'll select the ISO, just go to the folder that we downloaded it in, just check that this is the right one. Because we need one, I'm just going to pass through a USB flash drive. And then we'll get some options. So we can bypass the Windows system requirements. We can remove the requirement for a Microsoft account. That does the registry tweak built in. We can also have it automatically create a username. We can set the regional options the same. And we can also uh, disable these two things. Now you may wonder about BitLocker. Personally, I think, especially if you're on a desktop, I, I don't think there's much harm in disabling this, uh, especially if you are using what's called a firmware TPM instead of a dedicated TPM. There is a risk if you change certain hardware that you can lose your data. And fundamentally, this does not really provide any security for a home user as, unless your computer is stolen. Even then, I mean, if they have the TPM, they can still decrypt it. I, I wouldn't recommend enabling BitLocker, so I think this is a good one to set as well. Uh, and we can go OK. And it will delete the partitions and then repartition our disk. You can also use Rufus. Uh, if you've decided this is the point of no return and you're done with Windows, you can also use Rufus to create a Linux ISO, Linux USB as well. One tip I will just add on that uh, there's an option for two modes. Uh, you want to use DD mode. You've, I've never had it work with the other one. Done. So that's going to be all for this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you found it interesting or if you do want to see a full Windows installation guide. That is all for me for now. Bye!